Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. So AMC, we sitting at 1854 at the time of this recording, guys. Looking to be having that continuation to the upside. What we was expecting on Friday, we did expect for Friday to be a draw, meaning we didn't gain much or lose any of our gains. That's exactly what happened. We ended around seventeen dollars and sixty cents, but we was wrong about seeing that continuation on Friday. Just seeing AMC prove itself and show that demand is there and people is ready to eat up these shares at after they seen that you know that little panic back down to or near the fourteen dollar range and seen us recover with ease. I know a lot of people have AMC on their radar and was ready to hop in once seeing that guys because we look like we performing a triple bottom and we have been holding up ever since we hit that third bottom guys, giving us an indication that every time we come down to that area. The demand is there and we showing strength around that support area around low 13 $14 range each time, guys. And that's exactly what we want to see. Now, if we can sustain and keep up this, you know, hold up at this level that we're that we're trading at and continue to the upside, that will be in fact a triple bottom, guys. And we could be seeing a big, big push from here, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at it let you guys know the great news that amc has in store because even though inflation is rising amc it could be an, a good you know it could be a good situation for amc guys so let's go ahead and take a look at this why soaring inflation is good news for amc and not for doordash inflation had been at its highest level since 1982. the coronavirus pandemic has untinted it Consequences beyond health risks, outbreaks, or sending workers home in critical industries, reducing economic output. AMC, rising inflation could be good for AMC because high degree of costs are reflectively fixed, meaning they would not grow as inflation rises. For instance, despite the rising costs throughout the economy, AMC's rent expenses stayed relatively, relatively flat year over year in its quarter ended September 30th. What's more, AMC has $5.4 billion in debt on its balance sheet, regardless of how much inflation rises. It would not increase the sum of the debt or the interest expenses it has agreed to pay. And most recent quarter for AMC, rent and interest expenditures totaled $214.9 million and $88.7 million, respectively. To put those figures into context, AMC generated $763 million in revenue in the quarter ended September 30th, guys. So AMC is making, make, making way more money than they're kicking out, meaning it's good debt. If you own a house and you got a house that you're renting out to someone and you owe the bank, 800 a month for that house that you own, but the person paying you rent, paying you $1,200 a month, that's good debt ratio. They'll pay for that house over time. You will take the $300 out of the middle, put it in a savings account, use some of the money for profits to have fun with, and also keep you know the money for any type of situations that come on around your property. You have that extra money there while someone else is still paying for the property, guys. So same thing with AMC, all this massive debt. They got everybody else, the customers paying for everything while they just, you know, get the debt, guys. So, and basically what they stating right here is, as much as the inflation rises, AMC's numbers won't change as much. They already agreed to how much they is going to pay in interest. And they also is going to pay out the same, you know, they only in debt 5.8 billion dollars that number won't change and also the interest that they pay on that money even though if they was to get a new loan or something the interest rates would be different due to inflation guys so rising inflation is also strategically positive for amc consumers are paying higher prices for many of their for many things in their lives including transportation food fuel and more management can keep prices flat at AMC, making its service relative, rel relatively more attractive to customers, consumers, or it can raise prices on tickets and concessions to match raising prices elsewhere. AMC has chosen the latter and increased ticket prices by 16% domestically and 17% internationally in a third quarter 2021 compared with 2019, guys. So AMC has uh, uh, taken up their ticket uh, prices, guys. So even though AMC is still in the same, situa same situation, it's not costing them more money due to inflation, 